Hello guys, so this is the first ever inaugural Rapid Games with Metal Legal. So I'll be explaining my thought presses and what I think my opponent will do against me. So we're going to play an open called the Catalan. So we're going to be playing D4, C4, and G3, Pleasure D2, and Castle and King Size. So he goes C6, but we go C4 still. So they go e6 to close off everything. So we'll just do this nifty move, queen g2, to maybe just make sure that the c4 pawn will be not lost. So I think that I like here this case. I don't think about it for a little bit. So the knight will probably go to e4. And think about this one, this pin. So they can go e6, but they're gonna get the bishop pair. Let me think for this a little bit. So knight e4, f5 is annoying to just for sure to just play against. So just I'll do bishop b5. Let's see what he does. Maybe a6, bishop b7. All right, that's fine. Now we go because the pawn, the bishop is on the pawn chain. We can go e3. All right, knight e4. I'll take the bishop. So he's probably going to think about this check, maybe. So if I go bishop d3, they're going to be doing check. Knight d2, knight takes there, knight takes there. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe not so bad. So but if I go there, it's just probably going to go f5 move that I was afraid of before. Um, let me think. Let me think a little bit. Queen b4, knight b2. Take, take. And um, we don't have any fear, so this c4 square is extra guarded. So I'll just um, blue, just do this one. So they're gonna be probably doing f5 or queen b4. So now they go queen b4, and if I castle, they can actually have an option to doing g5, blowing up this king side attack really quickly. So it's a little bit of a concern. So. Let's be flexible, just don't give away what we're doing. So I'll play e3, just getting rid of this queen before threat. Let's see what he does now. So he's probably going to castle queenside. I'm just figuring that he's going to, okay. So he commits the kingside castling, and uh, make sure that if I castle kingside, that he still can't do g5, but he probably can. If I go knight e5, he's going to do knight d7, try to trade off the knights. Well, it'll still be not good, but... I'll just do castle and king side because it commits and I know where his king is. So maybe knight e5 f3 is better, but oh well, there's no harms right now. So b4 to clamp on c5. There's no c5 push because two pawns guard the square. So I try to make sure that I don't take too much time to think because in a rapid game, you take the, if you think too long, you're going to be prone to making mistakes in end games and that will be not good at all. So he's down to space which is a really good plus so he goes knight d f6 so that allows me to hop this knight into e5. So this is an opportunistic thing that I can think about and um, where does he go next? Where does he go next is the question. So they can't go b6 because the pawn will be hanging. So should I do this right now? Um, or not. So, mm -hmm. yeah, white boy as well. This business is a problem for him, so he can't develop naturally. So b6 is not an uh, option. So, yeah, they go a5. They go a5. So they want to do take on b4 twice with a queen and the pawn. So this is a good option by him. So c5 is an option, but, well, this uh, basically is um, not allowing me to do with this b5 break I was thinking of, but I can think about it for a little bit. This is uh, what's called a critical position, so it's a very important to make this decision the right one. And if I don't do it right, I'll um, potentially be worse. So it's important to think about this for a little bit, at least. So c5 is really weakening, but... I'm just betting on the, having this bishop be the worst piece on the board, but they can probably do a maneuver like this, 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 
but it's a really long and slow process, and I could do B5 with a pawn. But uh, but if they go there, pawn takes, and I can't take back, and the, because the rook um, behind it will be hanging. So C5 is not an option. So what else can I do? So there's B5, pawn B5, they could take, take and nick this bishop a little bit uh, more alive. That's not good. I could do queen b3, well, a queen b2 maybe, but they'll take their, take their root takes a1, queen takes b4, and we're down upon again. Huh. This is not nice for him, so. <clears throat> this is a tough position. Over, or overall, this position is not so pleasant for me. Let's see. Maybe I'm just uh, made a blunder with knight e5. But there's probably a resource that I'm not considering right here. That I'm not losing right now, but there's probably a way to, to survive. Maybe I just had to bite the bullet and just play b5. And uh, there's still, the bishop is not the greatest piece in the world. So I think that we are called to do this. This bishop will not be the best thing. Is it going to be better than it was, but... It'll be still passive. We can just take advantage of the C file, maybe rook C1, knight D2, stuff like that. But I don't lose the pawn and the rook on A1, so at least that problem is uh, solved. So they go, pawn takes there, I'll just take the pawn. Bishop B7, I expect from him. Actually, with that's one. Alright, it moves like maybe knight D2. Uh, maybe rook to c8, queen b2, knight c3 isn't uh, annoying to see, but maybe not not knight d2 because c3 is uh, exposed a little bit. f3 attacks knight, that move knight somewhere, so maybe somewhere passive like this, attacking the, uh, the pawn again. Hmm. You know what, I'll just see where he goes, where he goes. Just doing a rook c8 move, just queen b2. So maybe this one, queen b2, and see where that knight goes. They can't go to c3 or d2 because knight is not committed yet. So make sure that I don't do knight d2 because he can just hop in c3. And I can do, I can't, well, the same thing with the knight c3 one because they can pin my knight to the queen with rook c8. So now queen b2. So the knight has to go somewhere, maybe knight d6, I'm expecting. And now, and then, we'll be able to uh, maybe go a4, just secure this pawn and not lose it. And make sure that we don't lose it. So the pawn, predicting the pawn is, uh, is, um, is optimal. So I'll just do this one. And uh, saying that the pawn will defend the pawn and we don't lose that pawn. So we don't have to worry about this guy babysitting the pawn on b5, or the queen either. So my plan is to do knight d2, and maybe going to rook c1 of the one of the rooks, and having an easy uh, middle game. So this is uh, looking to be a better position for me than it was, I think. So I had to commit to b5, but this bishop is still the worst piece on the, the black side, I think. So it doesn't have much to do. So even go if it, if it goes there, it's uh, hitting a brick wall. So that's uh, one advantage that we have. So we have time, knight d2, and maybe rook to c1, and we have a c file, an equal game. So I'm not saying that I'm better, but I'm not worse. Which is, uh, I think, the better, uh, better situation I was thinking of. So maybe, uh, okay, b6. I'll just do knight d2, the same plan, easy plan, go in there. So he wants to double, he wants to double. <laughs> so why don't I double, I just uh, do, have a sing the c file. Okay. Okay. So I have an option to take the rook and do rook c1, but there's a tension on the rook, so if I take their and I'm just um, asking for a trade of rooks. So is it better for me to trade rooks or not? 
just wait for him. Just trade on my own terms and not his. Well, this is working on one is not doing anything, so let's do one trade of rooks. And just saying, okay, I want to get this rook on a1 doing something. Rook on a1 was not doing anything, so it's a uh, drink one piece. Just make the rook on a1 doing something a little bit. So there's an overall quality sort of mindset. So let's see. Rook c3, queen c2. Try, try, to, uh, try to take on c7. Um, it looks like it's beneficial. I'll just uh, remove that if they take the the rook of the rook. And the plan is to go to queen e2, and they have to do something about the rook and c7 because it's attacked twice. So let's see what he does. I'm not too far, far behind the clock, so that's a good situation. I have more space, I have a better bishop than him, so I'm happy. So he goes there. Oh, it's like a pawn sacrifice. Pawn sacrifice. So he wants to go maybe a queen before move? So, alright. Again, this is a critical position. So either I win this position or I lose if I don't make the right decision. So it attacks the knight, attacks the queen. So I'm thinking about taking there with a d2 knight because it's the most passive piece, not doing pretty much anything. Pawn takes the knight. Do I take the bishop, take the rook, or take the queen? But I think that knight d2 takes c4 will be plenty good. So now what to do? Take with the bishop, knight, or the rook is the question. So, so take the rook. There's knight d5. Hitting this pawn. That's a... That's a one thing to think about. But let me think. But he's losing a pawn. So if you're down if you're up material, the principle is if you're up material you want to trade. So let's offer him a trade of rooks. So I want a, him to take my rook on c4. It's saying I'm up a pawn, so end games will be most likely better for me compared to you. So he goes there instead, just trying to throw this pawn on uh, e3. So, for example, if I go there, there's queen g5, try to attack this one more. There's that four, but there's also there's a lot of garbage involved in this. But the rook is nice, guarding this rook on c7 as well. That's nifty for him. We want to protect this a3 pawn. So what is the best way to do it? So e4, push the pawn. Push the pawn. That's risky business. A3. Take there with the rook. The queen will take. King of two. So I'm thinking about this one. This one. Um, this one. Knight takes or rook, takes rook, queen takes rook, king f2. Where does the knight go? Oh, yeah, this one is the fork of the king and the queen, so I lose, so that's not good. So I can't go this king f2 directly. <clears throat> so, another, hey, again, another critical position. So I want to make sure that I don't lose and make a wrong decision. That This one is a very. Uh, do or die situation so I don't if I don't make the right move and I'm gonna lose so maybe Queen C1 is a, um, a thought so <clears throat> I have to take the rook I'll take the knight not lose the pawn uh, with the queen the queen's still defending it and also old knight to defend it so um, Queen C1 is the thought King F2 is so scary because Queen G5 attacks uh, E3 again So maybe it's not not with really threat because rook takes rook, the knight takes rook. And this is maybe um, some squeezy one action to attack the knight and defend the e3 pawn as well. So maybe king f2 is uh, right. So let's try to do this one. Queen g5, um, rook takes rook. 
you know, I think I will be okay with that. It's a simple chest at this point. I want to make sure that I don't be too much down time, or else I'll be losing because of the mistake I don't intend to, uh, to make. So we're taking my bishop, so I do something about that in this night, and the outpost is not doing much if I do the right move. So maybe bishop e2. Maybe bishop e2. Maybe bishop e1. Um, yeah, I'll do bishop e2. More centralized. Yeah, bishop e2. I have more options to maybe take on c4 or the bishop. If they take on c4. This knight before move maybe will turn out to just be bad. It's a good position for knight, but it's a mere error. Basically nothing. So it's like a if it's like a beginner will say, Oh, knights love to have outposts, but if the knight is aiming at nothing, there'll be a burden there. So it's a better place to go. So knight d5 is a centralized um, square that has a lot of effect to just limit my opportunities to break in center, but I think that this one is a, maybe a mistake. But I'll look at the evaluation of the game if it's a, really a mistake. But I don't like this move personally by Black. So let's see what he's gonna do. I'm really optimistic that he gave me chances to bounce back. So I want to make sure that I just. Pace myself and don't play too fast or too slow, or else the time pressure will be um, in my face because no increment in this game. So, no time will be added to every move. So, if I'm down on the clock, I'll be just making mistakes more, most likely. Um, let's see. So, I was thinking, yeah, he goes there, check. Alright, if I do that one, he's gonna take that pawn. If I go there, it doing queen e1, that'll be annoying. If I do king f1, let's see, oh, this is annoying. That's a good move by him, but, 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 if I go there, the, I don't think they can because the rook will be hanging. So in theory, if king f1, they have to do rook takes rook first, the, before they do the queen takes h2. But in that case, we'll take the rook, they take on h2, we'll take on h6, check with the bishop. And maybe, maybe, with all the complications, we'll be okay. Well, let's uh, pre-move that. If they take with the rook, I'll take the bishop with the bishop. Yeah, so aim at this guy. If black doesn't do anything productive, I'll just play g3. Making the queen defend on h2. So he has to make sure that he calculates this one carefully, but. So I'm, pres I'm exerting pressure on him, so he didn't see that. Well, maybe he doesn't care. He doesn't care, so I'll just take there. Alright. Where's the execution for him? Against him, rather. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, this is another, yet again, critical position. Um, do I want to be greedy or just king f2? Say myself, king, queen g1, or queen f2 rather. Queen f2, and saying that I don't want to take the pawn, this endgame will better, be better, and it, your bishop is still terrible, and I want to trade off your queen. So this, uh, I think that queen f2, queen g1 sort of thing just uh, solidifies me is an advantage. So knight d3, that is not possible because now take backwards. So knight backward moves are just generally miss a lot at times. So I want to do, at the worst case scenario, this one, yeah, queen g1 saying I want to trade queens. So I like end games. Without trading the queens, there's no um, like complexity. I'm just simply better. Simply winning. I like end games where there's simple play. So yeah, he makes a smart move and he wants to well, he's not attacking anything. The queens defend this pawn, so I can, I can realistically take the pawn on um, f5. So I'll do that. So I'm out of material. I'm safe. This bishop is terrible again. So all right, he's bruising knight a little bit. 
Knight g4 is a thing. Let's do that. Knight g4. Knight g4 is maybe a thing later on. I want to make sure that also there's a thing that we can do queen h2 if he's not careful to aim at the checkmate on um, h7. So if they go, for example, this move like this, I'll just do queen, uh, queen h2. Try to trade off queens. And I don't want to lose a bishop. Don't bundle the bishop. So I'll maybe just try to do a move like... Um, let's see, bishop b4, knight d3 is loses a pawn so I want to be careful not to lose the pawn so I'll do bishop c2 moves like this will be coming up later on so maybe bishop g6 is going to be played it's like a I, I, I. so he goes there queen h2 is a move queen h2 is a move no probably probably not <clears throat> That's not probably probably not a move. E4 is a move. Yeah, maybe not. <sighs> Let's see. Mistakes have been made. <sighs> All right, he, he made a mistake. Maybe not yet. Ah, <sighs> yikes. Well, um, yeah, not, there is a fork. This is uh, not good for me at all. Not good for me at all. So I, yeah, just do that. If the, if the queen takes, if the knight takes there, I have to take the, the knight to play an endgame out. So it's probably worse for me. So I, I had to do something. I don't have time. <clears throat> I don't have time at all. So I'm gonna just keep silent and just make sure that I don't lose the game. <clears throat> so queen c1 is coming. <sighs> so ah, so this one, this one is gonna be winning. <sighs> I want to make sure that we don't. Bomb the bishop on c2. Queen to a4, queen b8, maybe. <clears throat> queen b8, maybe. This one. Just trying to hold on for dear life. There's like maybe there's a chance to do this one, just Jack made him, but I'm not playing for hope chess at this point. So, okay, this go, they go there, but yeah, it's fine. They have to. I have to go to second rank. They can't go queen c two because the bishop blocks. So there's a. Okay, it goes there. I'll just go back. <clears throat> just thinking about something. Okay, I'll have to go back. Queen b2, maybe? I want to, I don't want to block a bitch in my queen. So I don't want to go king g3. So I don't want to just go back to f1 if they go queen b2 or, yeah, king f1. <clears throat> I want to just have him take. But if you don't, I'll just do king f2. Uh, it's intense. <clears throat> All right. Claim a draw, so he made a repetition. So, uh, I s saved myself from certain destruction, but uh, wow, that was an interesting game. So, I think that I had something, but I was a time pressure. So, a draw, uh, computer says zero zero means a draw. Let's see where he, I went wrong. So, so the opening I played Queen 2 which is like, uh, it's an easy opening phase. 94 was a 
like a not a productive thing. Let's see. I was just looking at the blue annotations by the computer, so didn't like Knight D6. So it likes this Knight E5 move, but I didn't know what to do after A5. And so the move that it says is. Uh, All right, sorry about that. The phone was ring. So there's a F3, and a, a, the move I played was B5 was not a bad move. So they took there, there, and I, I was feeling that it was definitely better for me. Um, F3 is good. Could you B2, A4? Every, everything is good. Uh, I have a slight advantage with a plus sign, and um, B6 is a good. So I made a mistake somewhere. So everything is still fine and dandy. This is a blunder. So yeah, I, I felt that was a blunder, but yeah, this one is like a completely winning. But yeah, so I was thinking about this one in the game. So if they go knight e3, what does black, what does white do? So takes there. I was thinking about that. Um, so don't do don't do king f2 because I said before it will be a fork. Um. Okay, there's a uh, queen d2 maybe. Yeah, taking the knight still. F4 is coming, but it still says like a plus three advantage. So I did really well, but uh, but but later on in the game, um, I did blunder, but he blundered me back with knight before. I did bishop d e2. So the main move was just doing queen c1 trying to take this guy out of the game. So this one is like a king f1 is the best move. Take the rook was a, a mistake, so I took that. And he made a mistake again, so I was like, okay, I'm just way better. So plus five is huge. So king h8, queen f2. So I, so the best move is queen c3, so I did not see that. I did not consider that. But uh, I just want to just do this queen g1 move. So he correctly... Ah, bishop of seven. Uh huh. So interesting. Hey, T uh, Tomas. Now, how, is how are you doing? So I just played a rapid game. I just um, uh, I survived with the draw, but uh, it was an up and down game. It was like, I was scared. I had no time. So uh, I just uh, uh, so um, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. Where I went wrong, but yeah, Queen Ah oh, Bishop B two was a blunder. Uh -huh. so it's just ah uh, yeah, Bishop B six was a much better square because this one H five. I just I completely didn't see that coming. So Bishop there was the best move to like let's see if they go there H five in the wow King F two alien moves. <laughs> uh, let's say King F two was like. What was the point? What was the point? Oh, there's queen h2. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Like, take my knight. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, the, the, maintain the bishop right here. Then the knight is invincible because there's queen h2. I uh, overlooked that because I didn't have time to think about it. So, this is a emphasis of what about why you want to don't be down in time. So, this game is a um, case study of why you don't want to be down in time rapid games. So I should have done that, but it's hard, really hard to do that um, without any increment, and I have to do a commentary with you guys explaining my thought presses. So, but it's extra fun for me, and also hopefully you get value, and if you do, I encourage you to leave a like on the stream. So let's go back to the normal game. Bishop H2, Queen H2, take the knight, take there, take there. Um, there's a chance with the queen at c7. Ah, okay, a little bit, a little bit of chance. Queen c7, queen takes four, queen c8. Yeah, I was thinking about something like this. Ah, uh, this one. King of two, queen d4. Uh, just go back. Yeah, it's basically a draw. But, but again, just re re repetition. So. Hopefully you're doing well, Tomas. You changed. Oh yeah, you changed your name. 
like it to uh, for fun. Yep. So, <laughs> so I just tried to um, win this game, like it to and I just the case in point is uh, I just uh, you know uh, I just trying to figure out what to do in this game, but yeah, the time pressure was the big thing for sure. But one thing I can do now. If you want to do that, Lucky Tuba, um, do you want to do another rapid game with me, and we can do like a alternative moves, with rapid games? So let me know if you're up to it, and we can do that. So Lucky Tuba is really a strong player from Iceland, but uh, let me see if he's willing to do that, or if he's too late for him. Any? Um, oh, he says sure. Alrighty, so perfect. So I'll be sending him the invite. And I'll be featuring him on the stream. So it'll be a lot of extra games with him. So to make this inaugural rapid stream extra, very cool. So now it's not just me, but this also Lucky Tuba. Um, it'll be also my team member. So I'm going to be inviting him to the stream. Alrighty. So let, let, I'll wait for him. Uh, yes. Um, um, Alright, so uh, my friend from the chess center, well, he used to be a chess center, um, Stephen Tameng, he says, was that you playing snooze this evening? Yes. Yes, this is me. I played snooze. And uh Lucky Tuba is joining the stream. How are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. And you? Very good. So I'm excited to have this rapid stream to just share my thoughts and um educate the audience as well. So it's it's not a whole like big shindig like a rapid like a it's like a not a sample, but it's like a, a way to educate the audience about what my thoughts are and what I want to do to combat the opponent. So, nice. yeah, definitely. So, if you want to, we can just um, have back and forth, and we can share our thoughts about the position and what we're going to do. So we can be, at that sense, coordinated, and not lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. So I'll be searching for another game, and uh, let's see. All right, play. Let's say create a game. Five, five. Let's see if we have any buys. Oh, this is an eight plus eight game. Per oh, oh no, it's rated. <laughs> I thought it was, I was set this casual, but thankfully I awarded. Oh, this is oh, that's a ten zero game casual, but uh, maybe it's gonna pop up back. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, okay. So we know what we want. <laughs> So I play e4, e6, so now Lucky Tuba. D5. So we liked, both of us like to play the first defense. This guy is a high caliber player. So I don't know if you, probably you don't know this line, basically seven. so maybe you want to, for safety's sake, because I'm working the partner, I don't want to sabotage him with maybe do c5, the more yeah. mainline stuff. Okay, take. With the? Uh, pawn. Yeah. So I usually do Bishop be silent, but it's a really uh, special uh, recipe. <laughs> okay, uh, that's probably okay also. Okay, this one. <clears throat> I'll do knife six. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I got approved by the Lesla Slow about the line when I had a lesson with him. So he plays that sometimes too, the Morozovich version. So Bishop be silent is a, a really cool tactical line that is really beneficial for black, but it's not really mainstream. So... My move. Yep. Let's play bishop d6. Alrighty, bishop d6. So we're gonna probably have an isolated pawn, but we don't care. I'll take this pawn. Okay, they'll go there. Uh, castle. Alrighty, I'll castle. They're gonna castle as well. Uh, maybe we'll do... Bishop pin. So 
So the theme of this position that we don't want to trade too much because the end game will be worse for us with the D pawn or D5 pawn will be isolated in a week. So queen c2. Uh, let's see six. Alrighty, natural. Easy chess. Yep. It's very important to not forget to play easy chess. <laughs> That's what I tell my students all the time. If you don't want don't want to, don't know what to do, just play easy chess. Simplify yourself. That's how I play my end games. Oh, hey, Toby Rizzo. He's from the chess center. How are you doing? Nice to see you. So he's an awesome player. He's basically he's bobbing up between two thousand. Like recently, he's a really good strong player. He's the last player that I've actually played in a red game. Years ago, so he's an all star. I expect great things from him and hopefully he's well. Um, so it's my turn, right? Yep, okay. So I go there or there. Let me think a little bit. So I don't want to have him go bishop four, so eh, bishop e seven is coming, but there's no nice e three, so uh, he wants to go there for sure. There's a usual isolated pawn scenario just to have that park on there. Um, hmm. Let me think. Let me think. So, something neutral, maybe Bishop B7. So, hopefully, hopefully, you're doing do good, Toby. So, how are you doing in the Chessoner world? Hopefully, you're doing well. So it's a really big treat to have you in the stream. And I'm playing with my Isonic friend. He's really strong, so it's now your move to deal with this. <laughs> okay, let's just play Rook to see it. Uh-huh, yeah. Very good. We're just playing alternative moves, so... What's your critique on this position, <laughs> like a Diva? What? My take? What? Yeah, your take. I mean, it's just an equal position. Nothing yeah, special, I think but... I think we're safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Ah, he goes there. Yeah, he wants to probe. So if I go there, knight b five is going to be oh, ouchy. <laughs> oh boy, this is a uh, scary a little bit. Oh boy. So I ah, should I go there? Just waste your move. <laughs> Um, uh, I'll just, uh, for safety's sake, I'm just too much a chicken. I'll just do that. So do you have a better plan or move in the case of that? I probably would have just taken the bishop. Oh, that, oh yeah. Oh, I forgot the bishop. I was having a blind spot the size of <laughs> Jupiter. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I was thinking that, okay, I was thinking about that. I, was just, I, didn't, I didn't see the bishop there. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, this one. Um, now your move. Okay, let's... Okay, we can't play. I think taking the bishop is almost forced now. F5? Yeah. Alright. If you don't, then you can take our things. Mm -hmm. So he's probably thinking about this one or the queen. I'm thinking. Probably taking with the knight. Yeah, this one looks more aggressive. Yeah, he does that. Uh, okay. I, I'm i thinking that we're keen to not give him the bishop. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, so there, b4, b5. Let's see what it does. This pin is annoying, but it's not the end of the world, I think. But there's maybe Rook D1. Maybe. Uh, maybe. That's a big fat maybe. But I didn't want to get it. Okay.
So what do you want to do? Well, we can be safe and play knight to e7. Knight e7? Ah, uh, hang on a minute. Okay. <laughs> you can ask him a little. Not really, but move. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> I give. Uh, but you in the pickle. Sorry, lucky dude. But... Yeah, it's okay. I think we're losing the d5 pawn. So let's just play h6. Alrighty. Let's just force give it the, and... Give the pawn to survive, <laughs> at least. Yep. So taking the 6, taking d5, we have to move the bishop now. In that case, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's not lost yet. So. Mm -hmm, yeah, so we have a chance to live at least. So it's just a pawn. At the end of the day. Famous last words. Oh yeah, very famous. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, uh, <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Doesn't does it really matter? The same thing, right? It's a bit strange she didn't take, I don't know. Yeah, Why just it's... develop the, uh, the rook. Yeah. Whew. Right turn, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's play knight to a5. Okay. Uh, hang on. Okay, oh, good. Oh. <laughs> I just oh. thought of a better move, but okay. Okay, what is the other thought? Uh, queen to d7, because this knight is, isn't... I think, yeah, that's true. So we could have unpinned that way, but... Yeah, but, oh well. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So we have opportunities to do that, but let me think. Take there, take there, take there. Well, huh. let's see. I'll take over. See what he does. All right, we don't lose a pawn at least. Well, I think. I think. Uh, no, G6. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I'll do this. First, safety first. G6 next. Okay. Yeah, this one. I reckon when it can happen any day of the week. Knight back to e3, maybe. Day four, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Totally fine. A6. Prophylactic thinking. Okay, g7. King of six. He wants to do end games. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, let's wait. They're up a piece. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. So don't do that. <laughs> I say <to> myself, <laughs> I forgot this is the act night. Oh boy. Um, I'll just uh, make this pawn ugly. 
of ugly. So all the yeah, three isolated pawns. There's some. This counts for something, I think. Yeah, this is a. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this one. Take my B7 pawn, I dare ya. Maybe rook E7 instead. But in this situation, you want to, in this situation, to be truthful, you want to trade off all the pawns. In that way, the end game will be in favor of uh, the defending side. Uh, so, uh, this is ugly. Ugly with the capital UG. Take on a6, I'll do rook d2. <sighs> so yeah, trade off all the pawns and we can draw. That's the goal. Knight has to move and then rook d2 and win the d4 pawn, I believe. Yeah, rook d2. d4 is hanging and he can't recover it. Or defend it, rather. So they can do this one, maybe. They can try. So, this one. Oh, you want to go there. That's ugly. <sighs> Centralize my king as much as possible. This is what I'm going to go with king of six. To go king e6. Or maybe king e5. Alright, he goes there. Let's see what to do now. Perhaps d4. Nice e7. King e5. Okay, what goes there? Ah, that's that's true. Not there's not there's no much not there's not much to do about that. Uh, yeah. Rook B4. Ah, Rook B4. Okay, he doesn't do that. Um, yeah, that's ugly. Trade the pawns. It's the only hope. Nice at 7. Rook E5. Okay, he goes up for it to block rook e5. Um, g5. Rook g6. King g7. The rook is covering g5 still. So I want to trade off all the pawns as much as I can. So he goes there attacking the rook. <sighs> That's a nasty thing. I had to do this. Rook d6, king d7. I'll do this with a rook, not the not the king. Rook d6, king e7. Yeah, king e7. Rook b6. Okay. Uh, h4. Take my pawn. I'll take the h2 pawn with a check and g2. Yeah. So uh, it's hard to blo uh, predict um, H4. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> King E6. 
Okay. Just block this. Okay, it goes there. It goes there. There. And there. And there. <clears throat> Ah, oh. annoying. It's basically not much I can do. King checking this is a little bit. This one, <clears throat> B6. Uh, five. There. <clears throat> uh, this is true. Ah, uh, the other one. <laughs> uh, how you block this? <laughs> Doesn't have to. <laughs> Oh, they can't do rookie three. Oh, gosh, you got me. <laughs> Lucky Diva. Yep. Well, that was... uh, I tried my best. So he's too clever. Yeah. Uh, so I try to, you know, try to do it like tear to the C5 move, but um, the C I said the pawn, I just feel like I'm just stuck. C5 variation, but yeah, that's what the top players play. So I can't, I can't have any excuses. So, but we'll play another game if you're up to it. Yep. All right, perfect. So that's a really strong opponent. So let's see if we can redeem ourselves in the next game. And, oh, okay, we have another game. Uh, yeah, another strong opponent. <laughs> so it'll let you go start. Uh, not F6. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm, I'll just do the lock tube lines. D5. D5, okay. C5. Huh? Castle. Knight C6. Knight D7. Okay, H5. So, okay, E5. Pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. We're down space, so maybe this is a, the like a double point. Yep, that's the point. <laughs> Alright. Uh, D knight takes. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, I'll just um. Uh, let's see. If I do that, one will be just a target for him, so it'll not be just not beneficial. So I'll just do a tactical retreat. <laughs> I think. Yep. It's actually a very good move. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Bishop, let's see. F5. F5, all no, right. Bishop F5. Oh, oh Bishop <laughs> F5, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't hear the Bishop part, and so the... B -b -b <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, really fun position, so people like Spire will be happy. <laughs> Not happy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy, what to do in this mess? <laughs> um, I'll just uh, just play the most sane move I can think of. Uh, let's see. Maybe this one. 
to make sure that the queen is not babysitting the pawn. So yeah, I'll make sure that I wait for you to make sure you confirm the move. <laughs> yeah, this is actually interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just hope it's in a good way. Yeah. So. <laughs> So it's so confusing. So I'm. I think that he's out of book. So he has to think about it. <laughs> so at least his preparation is out the window. Yep. So he go. So one bear. He can't go e4 as much as you want to. Your turn. I think we should play bishop to d7. Okay. Can you do? Okay, yeah, we all do that. Of course. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Let me think like. This position is very cramped. Too cramped. Oh boy. Um, uh, what to do? Oh, the options are limited, but. I'll do. Uh, I know what he's gonna do. I don't like it. <laughs> mm hmm. Maybe something the like this. Maybe. Bishop C6. Right. Let's play d4. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Counterattack. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is disturbing. This one's mm -hmm. this one's coming. <laughs> yep, but we have options. Yeah, what options do we have? But uh I'll just do this one. <laughs> now we also take with this knight. Mm-hmm. Should 
pin than I had to queen to c6. Mm -hmm. Just to yeah, but king is tied yeah. down the, the point knight, so. Yeah. That's a bust in disguise, I think. So this, uh, basically, he lost knight, <laughs> if you think about it. Also, to do, like, strange thing, like, well, they can't do even queen d1 because rook hangs. So the knight... Yeah, maybe he can do bishop h6 or something. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe they could do that. That would be scary. Yeah, well... But, uh, no, bishop a6, king, king takes a h6, maybe. Or a7, rather. Yeah, it might work, actually. That's true. Uh, this is a uh, point of thinking about things. So, bishop f6 is a candidate move, but king queen a6 is what he wants. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe this one suffices. Oh, oh another one. Okay. You're still not threatening anything, not yet, so maybe. We can play knight to d5. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. He doesn't have a threat yet. Not, 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 uh, what does he? I don't know. Yeah. I oh. don't think he has a threat. Mm -hmm. I don't see it at least. He can, yeah. he can, he can check, but he, it's not nothing. Mm -hmm. It's gonna happen, really. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> the thing about Rook H H didn't want to do King F seven is Knight G five. Oh yeah. King f7, knight g5, maybe is a word, but maybe not. King e7, but uh, just walks into. Yeah. So, uh, so let me think. Bishop takes rook, queen takes rook, uh, bishop, king f7 is forced, and knight g5 anyway, so it's dead anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, we we'll might as well face the music, I think. Yeah, maybe not to d5 was a mistake, but yeah, I don't know. This is not over yet. Hopefully, it's not over yet. Because <laughs> we will have the uh, discovery after. Yeah, maybe blocking with knight f6. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good as a resource, last minute resource. Oh. So, I forgot to put up the banner, but if you guys have a value of watching this stream, just please have a like in the stream to help support my channel. So, that'll be really appreciated. So, King 7. Alright. Bishop F6. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Bishop F6. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The reaction, bishop. Uh. <laughs> I was just thinking about this. Okay. Queen to h7, but it's not king to e6. It should be fine. Yeah. Hopefully. Because I have the discovery yeah. if he plays knight to g5 again. Yeah. Discovery. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a weird position. We both, both really are attacking. Okay, let me think. It's only one move. Well, there's... Well, there's 8th rank, but yeah. Let's see. 
This is the only logical move, I think. Yeah, logical moves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one. Uh, still not threatening anything, so you can... Let's play... Rook to F8. Alrighty. Okay, I'll... Let me think. No thinking, it's not allowed. Okay. <laughs> yep, play, play it, play it. Right. Ah, that's a bad move, because now we don't have the discovery. Okay. Okay, night takes. Alright. Well, if the king takes it, okay. To do the check. Uh, queen to d5. Yeah. Pin him again. Yeah, I was thinking he's doing the g5. This thing is so, um. I'll take that. Right to g4 next if he doesn't prevent it somehow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right to g5, yeah. Yeah, it's only me a six. And, um, hmm. So it's controversy where to go. King F6, seven. King F6 is uh, not possible. F7. <laughs> oh, okay. How about the King Queen A7? A so I can't do G G8. So maybe. This one could be eight, it's forced. Ah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think you can play rook to F7. All right, hopefully, it works. We do need to have. Anything, something. Okay, we'll just do this. Ah, uh, this one. Okay. Mhm. Mm so should we just resign? <laughs> yeah, this is personal. Yeah. So let's see how the computer critiques the F5 move. <laughs> uh. It's also actually pretty interesting position I think we Better yeah. have yeah, that was a boo. Yeah. I think we should have kept the tension uh, not allowing him to uh, free himself when he took on D six I think with the queen or E6. Mm -hmm. I do agree. So why the swinging middle game? Uh -huh. Is there is no redemption points? This one, this position now seems to be what's the score? Okay, one point nine. Yeah, this is a, the closest we get to be survivable. But King F seven instead of Bishop F six. Watch at this point. Oh, there's a more chances. So this one. Oh, no. Rook F8 was a butter. <laughs> rook takes the rook. Okay, I was thinking, but... Somehow it didn't feel right to me. I was thinking about, like, rook takes rook and bishop takes bishop, king to F6 or something, and, and mm -hmm. having the discovery on top, but... Uh, I don't know. I didn't... Huh. What's he saying? D takes C3. Okay, the computer has different ideas, obviously. <laughs> Definitely. Slowly but okay. surely it's going down. Yeah. So, after that one, is there any redemption points? This one. Oh, 94. Oh. 
Yeah, it, it's just checkmating, it seems. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, the game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, those, those things happen. <laughs> yep. Alright. So I'll have time for one more, I think? Yep, I can do one more. Alright. Hopefully we can get the win. But the two points that we had were tough, but this last one we had was a uh, we got a handicap with the F5 move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's a fun game anyway. I mean, yeah. It's always interesting to figure out those things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even if you if it's impossible really, but you still have to think. Yeah, we thought a lot. Definitely. Um, we tried our best. Let's see. Let's um, wait for a rated challenge or just, just see whoever takes our challenge. So, how are you doing today in uh, Iceland land? <laughs> yep, pretty good. So, no bad news for about the volcanic eruptions? Actually, now there are like eight fishes erupting, not, I think I told you last time it was three or four, I don't know. Uh -huh. So it's growing. <laughs> oh, boy. So still not near your house, right? No, I mean, I'm 400 kilometers away, so I'm, I'm safe. But That's very good. It's like 20 kilometers from Reykjavik, so the uh, biggest issue at the moment is just uh, pollution. There's like uh -huh. a very bad poisonous gases in the uh, mm -hmm. that, that come up with the uh, lava, so. Definitely. Oh, this is uh, D. Django. He says, are you playing viewers? So he's a guy that was in my sample once. Um, yes, but only for rapid. Yeah, D. Django. So if you want to challenge us, um, S-L-O-M, we can play a rapid game, like 5-5 five, five or 10-0. Um, let's see. This is a uh, uh, I'll just do it for the fans. I'm sorry, Moldy. <laughs> but, uh, do you want to play us, D Django? So, if you're on Lead Chess, you can uh, challenge us to um, challenge. Okay, so is your uh, user and your name the same thing as your um, YouTube name, D Django? Oh, yeah, I see. Um,. Is that red? Oh yeah, casual. So nine plus one. So let's go. Yep, that's fine. All right. So I'll do. I'll do this one. I'm hopefully that you're. Well, I'll just play solid. Your move. Uh, D four. Yeah, easy stuff. D four is too spicy. <laughs> all right, I'll do the cure all for this B three for me. Uh, bishop B uh, B two. Mm -hmm. So I got a winning advantage about against the uh, Rosen Parner Mario. So, it's your move. Oh, okay. Um, should we play? Mm. Let's be old and play G three. Yeah, that's that's really good. W <laughs> three <laughs> Kado. The castle would go bishop b2 and easy game for white. Yep. It's not the best of the best, but it's easy to play. Okay. Let's try knight to beat d2. Mm hmm. Okay, they go a6. Mm -hmm. I'll just castle. Oh, to oh, Toby Rizzo was moldy. Oh, sorry. Oh. I thought it was your round guy. <laughs> sorry, Toby. Maybe we can challenge you next game. I did. I did not get the name <laughs> for Toby. <laughs> But next game, so now it's your turn, Lakituba. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is interesting. I 
think I want to play. Hmm. Where is he going? He wants to trade to play mid to e5 or something. Mid to c5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taking d4 and knight c5, maybe. Yeah, that's probably his idea. Yeah. Let's play e3. It'll be very boring. Yeah. Solid <laughs> but boring. <laughs> I like it. That's why people like to criticize Kramick. You're so boring, but yet so solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that happened to me in the state championship. So I drew against a FM, but because people wanted to have fighting spirits, so they called me Kramnik because... <laughs> It's a basically I had knight up, but it's like a rook versus the rook and knight. There's no way to lose, but I just took the draw when he just offered you draw. So, but they called me Kramnik for the rest of the tournament. <laughs> so okay, they go okay. This is my move. Um, let's see. Uh, C four is too committal. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think. I want to be. Want to be flexible. Let's see. If you want uh, to be flexible, then you can maybe start doing yoga. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay. Um, let's yes. see. Yeah, definitely. But it's a good point. Um, I'll do... Let's see. Oh, Queen E2 is very flexible. Not committing anything. Yoga move. Yoga move, yes. C4 is like saying you can't go back. Yeah, I don't like C4 if you place B5 and trade. So exactly. So it's not, ugly. Yeah. Don't feel. Yeah. Feel it's necessary at this point. Yeah. So my opening is all about flexibility. Yoga moves. <laughs> So one, two, three, you see that black doesn't have the usual kingside attack formation. It's like a weird, very weird uh, Benko. Yep. But without C for a pawn, so it's not going to be as effective. Okay, B5 is natural, so your move. Yep, okay. Uh, let's again be very boring and play rook to b1. Rook a to b1. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, bore again, a3. <laughs> wait, wait for him to commit first. <laughs> yep. Huh. We're flexible. <laughs> We're breathing in and out like a diva. Yep, good luck. Yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Icelandic ones. Um, uh, I'll do uh, maybe. Okay, he wants to do a d5. Oh. Mm. And that thought maybe. Uh, maybe this one? Mm -hmm. Again, I think about flexibility. I was thinking the rook fc1, but the rook and b1 would be sad. But you have to move. Okay. Hmm. I think we have to take on C5 now. Okay. Are you sure? I mean, we don't have to, but I want to. Okay, you want. Okay. A oh, one is good enough. Yep. <laughs> um, so, uh huh. Let's get threats in the. Mm -hmm. Well, don't tell him. <laughs> Stop listening. <laughs> so yeah, so if you have um, it's like a Siri. It's like a lot of people say, "Stop listening." <laughs> so, just, just just turn off the voice recognition of the Siri. So now, what do you do? Uh, my turn again. Yep. 
Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, I need to get some activity somehow. Uh, let's play B4. All right, but it's a bit night for it, but yeah, uh, not in the room. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, um, I'll see. Uh, let's, they're gonna do a five, maybe, but um, I'll just say we don't care. Yep. We're just controlling e4 with the knight and bishop, so okay, he goes there. Uh, it's four. Aha, like a double move. Yep, I'm getting impatient. <laughs> I'm old age. Uh, you're not that old. <laughs> Last time you sex. <laughs> Look at this walking note. It's over 200 years old, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was doing a, a feed uh, seminar today, mm -hmm. something called OA, which means Online Arbiter. Uh -huh. This feed is introducing uh, hybrid chess and online chess, if you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. And one of the uh, lessons we learned today was, uh, it was it's very important to uh, visit the bathroom before the tournament. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's a job requirement. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was funny. Like, really? <laughs> Do we need a seminar for that? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, here goes the... Ah, this one is not too pressing. I'm not afraid of that. So I'll do... Yeah, this one. Just to prevent... Okay, this one. Threatening nothing. So knight uh, d4 to b3. D4 to b3. Okay. Yo, yo. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Very, very true. That's one of the things that can be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, he goes there. <clears throat> I'm assuming. Okay, he wants to do stuff, but I don't think that matters. I don't see any threats yet, at least. So. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm just going to do the path of like Duba. Yep, that's the idea. We don't need no education. <laughs> <laughs> we just do whatever we want. <laughs> Definitely. Right on. Oh. Play rook to a8 because it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so he doesn't do that. But he said, yeah. And I know, yeah, the threat. Yeah, he's threatening to take rook h4 and take with the queen. But it's still not the, nothing really because he isn't really. Well, not only that, there's another thing, but well, you, you probably have a uh, cure for both things. I think you should play Night Text this. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's very anti positional, I don't know. Yeah. Shouldn't do that. So basically, you sound like you're whispering something to my ear and you just jumped off the cliff. It's like, Night Text. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's play. 
knight to f3. All right, that's one, but uh, this knight takes e3. That's going to be coming in our face, but maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, no, it's nothing. I mean, knight think. takes and, uh, well, pawn takes, bishop takes, and well, yeah. Well, I mean, he can, he can give us his black skirt bishop and win the next change, but I think he's going to lose on the spot if he does that because mm, yeah. the king, king will be so weak. It's going to yeah. be a whole week. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So I'm not really worried about that one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> not today. Not today. Think about the options. Our options are what? I did not see this one. No, I didn't consider this one. But thankfully, same, what? Same thing. Yeah, it's like a well, potato, potato, maybe. Yeah, I mean, don't really believe in this attack. Yeah, your move. There's I think to F one. Yeah, that's the only one move. Important move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this idea of a black now because mm -hmm. the squares around the king are so weak. Definitely. So if we can just cram in a queen and a bishop, we could just yeah, I mean. And... We can take with a rook, we can play queen to d4, we can play knight to d5. I mean, exactly. It's... Uh. <clears throat> All right, here, move again. Next one. <laughs> Maybe you should just resign. No, I'm just kidding. No! <laughs> <laughs> you move again. Uh, queen to t4? Yes, I like it. <clears throat> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, this is my move. Okay, um, I'll do. Oh, okay. Retreat, ooh, but do we really want to do that? Do it, do it now. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, maybe queen to d4 wasn't really the best. Yeah, here, move again. Okay, rock to e1. Alright, that's a good. Well, okay. I'll do this one. Yep, Laruni. Mm -hmm. Because why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the reasons I need. Mm -hmm. Okay, you move. Uh, knight to g5. Right. <clears throat> Can't go there. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 
one to fit this T3 pawn. Yeah, but not too deep for the slot now. That's fine. This is Jack. This is Jack. We're not as far as Jack's here. Okay. No. Your move. Um. Rook takes e3. Ah, well, I could do a move. I not, don't take it back. Don't take it back? <laughs> no. Alright. <laughs> the idea um, was queen d5? No, queen to d8. d8. Okay. okay. So. No. And no. <laughs> and now. To be honest, it's not the. Maybe it's not the worst. Uh, bishop to uh, d5 check. Mm hmm. <clears throat> okay. Oh, mm. Hope, almost. <laughs> almost. Uh. <clears throat> almost, I say. Now I'm immediately we're getting a king h2 now. <laughs> a little bit. All right, now you move. Uh, knight c to d uh, e6. All right. <clears throat> oh boy. That's my bad. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right, you move. Uh, queen, uh, knight h7. Hello. Well, this is losing the rook. Oh! <laughs> nice seven was win. Wow! The time. Yeah. So, like, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh. We're so close, but the time. <laughs> Again, we don't have a win, but we're having a fun games. So, yeah. Thank you for the game, Django. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Good game. Yeah, so... Yeah, when I played queen to d4, I wasn't prepared enough yet. Yeah, that couple with my king h2 calls you move. Yeah, yeah, and queen to f3. I think queen to d8 would have been uh, close to winning, I think. Yeah, definitely. So let's see. Um, let's go challenge Toby. So if he's still online, I'll just challenge him to a game. Yeah, if he's still minutes. online. So yeah, I'll just challenge him if he's still there. Can you give me two minutes? All right, before? definitely. Okay. I'll give you two minutes. So Toby, are you still here? You are. We can play a game. I'm assuming that you're still here, Toby. So if you are, oh, okay, I'll accept your challenge once a Locky Tube comes back. But thank you for the challenge. Once he comes back, I'll accept it. And yeah. But yeah, for like I said before, if any of the viewers watching the VOD or in the stream right now, if you have value in the stream, please leave a like to support me and my channel and future streams in my channel videos. So, and if you have any suggestions of a video I can create, leave them in the comments section in the video stream later if you want or right now. So yeah, I just gonna talk to you, Toby. It's like um, I had the first um shot from Moderna, and my second shot of Moderna will be in the thirtieth of this month, and maybe I'm hoping that I can go back to Chesterner 
um, sometime in May. So that'll be really nice to come back to the Chessner over a year, not going there because of, you know, because I'm made compromised and yeah, COVID was, was rapid. But yeah, it'll be nice to see everybody again in May. So that's the plan. So I don't know where you live, do you, Django? But um, did you get vaccinated or not yet? But yeah, the game was that we played was uh, really nice and hilarious and just definitely, definitely is. Uh, It'll be wonderful to see everybody again. So it says, all right, so he says, Auntie Django says, nah, I'm from Sweden, and we're pretty much on the bottom list. Ah, bottom list. Wow. That's, that's annoying. <laughs> But I wish you um, having the vaccine available to you as quick as possible. Um, but by the way, Django, if you are interested in playing against me and my friends as animals, um, this Saturday at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern in New York time, it'll be me and a bunch of friends, the title friends, not just Loki too, but we'll be playing a animal together. And uh, if you want to play against us, you can join that one. So, Lucky Tuba, you're back. I'm back. All right. So you're gonna we're gonna be playing against. I think that there's like the probably the greatest um, youth player in my club. So Tobias Tobias Rizzo. So he's really really solid. And if you go into tactics, just avoid it <laughs> like the plague. <laughs> so they're gonna be playing multi buffalo. Um, so, I'll, I'll just let you uh, just take the reins. Okay, uh, E4. Alrighty. Good luck, Toby. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, he's aggressive, but okay. I'll just do the Lucky Tuba method. Yep. I know what you'd like. Uh, F4. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll do uh, this one. Or press to be fine. Is it this is a more normal move or press to be five? No, this is uh, not two or three. It's it's a normal move. Ah, uh, I see. All right, thank you, Django. So it'll be really nice to see you play against me and the crew. Okay, this one. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's that... My, it's my move now. Uh, Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah it's yours, yep. Okay. Um, okay there are options here, I'm thinking. Yep. Which one we should play? I think we should play E5 now. Uh -huh. Now we're just turning this into a French defense for black. Mm hmm. A little bit. Okay, he wants to go. Oh, he wants to go there. I'll say no to you. <clears throat> okay. That's fine. Okay. Your move. Yep, let's play. Should be, be really boring, or should we have some fun? Yeah, I think that Tobias Bane is maybe boring. <laughs> yeah. I'm just guessing I haven't seen him in like a year. We'll see. Let's play, have some fun and play Knight to E4. Oh, that's really fun. Yoo-hoo. 
Ja auch. Okay, this one, I'm assuming, would take the, the pawn? Yep. Alright, so, I guess it's right, yay. Okay, you move. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you're thinking about. <laughs> yep, just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just play knight to c3. Okay. You were thinking uh, about the bishop c4 lines? Or no, no, not this. Uh, no, no, no. no <laughs> not, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Don't do that. Server. I was yeah. thinking about like uh, knight to uh, d6. But... Uh, knight to d6, yeah, that's the one. But uh, yeah, in this case. I'll do the boring move, not committal. I got just flexible. <laughs> Yoga move. Yeah. <laughs> Flex those thighs. Swing those rooks. I think we can play knight to e4 again. Okay, knight e4? Yep. Alright. Because why not? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I don't think. Well, mm, probably do. Let me think. Oh, uh, no, we don't. <laughs> we just simply don't. Um, uh, let, me, let me think. No is this... Uh, is this... That's fine. You sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, it's you said, fine. You said that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. That's the whole point. Like, the idea behind the idea. Yeah, bad <laughs> ideas. <laughs> so you can just you can just survive if you just do awkward moves. I don't think this opening is very solid with all the night doing it for the spot. Yeah. Just, Bit of fun. <laughs> Definitely. It's all for fun. Nay for going back there. Yep. Let's play it. Yeah. The, because why not? <laughs> it's like yeah yeah ding dong. Mm -hmm. Play it. <laughs> play it now. <laughs> If somebody has seen the movie Husavik on Netflix, they know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, see. No, the movie isn't called Husavik. The movie is called Eurovision, the story of fire saga. Ah, uh, see. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, okay, this one. All right, this is... Uh, I might, my turn. Uh, let's play Night to E4. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. A workout for the night. Oh boy, um, uh, let's see, uh, <clears throat> let's do, well, this one? That's fine. 
If you think about it. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. Yep. Uh, let's just cast now. All right. Because we can. Yes, because we can. Okay, I'll just okay. Let me think. Or no, thinking loud. Yeah, no thinking. All right. Um. Yeah. Do this. All right. Your move. Let's see. Hang on a minute. Let's pick queen to e1. Hmm. Yes. Like a double move. Okay, I'll do another Locky Tuma move, special. This one. Hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, it's fine. Oh. One of the... Uh... One of the many waters of the world? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just think it's like a, a spirit of Grand Prix. Uh, now, now I'm going to surprise our opponent and play Bishop to G5. Oh, okay. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Okay, he goes there. Oh, yikes, I surprised myself. <laughs> <laughs> I missed this move. Oh, oh boy. Somebody, somebody blended the piece. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So he says, uh, yeah, he says to take back. <laughs> take it back again. So, yeah. So, okay, you have another try, you know, shot. Can we play Bishop to D5? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he was surprised. And bought it a piece? Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, what do you want to okay. do instead? <laughs> uh, let's then play Queen to H3. Okay, thank you, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> the mercy is astounding. Okay, these ones, uh, these things are not family friendly. Okay, but, but, let me think. So I move, duck, take it away from me. Um, let's see, go there. Does. Does this kill our chances? We'll see. No, this is just fine. We yeah. don't need this bishop anyway. We can just give it to the uh, Red Cross or something. Okay. <laughs> uh, Pontex? Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Net takes. No. Uh, let me think. No thinking. No thinking. All right. You told me. <laughs> uh, bishop takes h6. All righty. Aggressive. No. It's alrighty. Let's see. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, it's very important to clear my throat before I make a move. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, what does it do? It's like what Nimshow it said: never make a move without a clear throat. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good thing now. Um, I'll just say, uh, I'll just say, pass. Uh -huh. Okay, you. He wants pawns. Mm. 
let's be rock. No, 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 no. Bishop to g5. Mm -hmm. Okay, he goes there. Okay. Okay, the spork, spork special. Mm hmm. What do you think? Um, let's see. I'm going to make a move. <coughs> Your move is coming up next. Uh, double on default then. Uh huh. Something aggressive. Do you fight back? Okay. He's pushing the pawns. Okay. So, for my move. Uh, I don't see the threat. <coughs> Queen to F4. <coughs> Bishop to B4. Where? What B4? B4, yeah. Yeah. Because why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Strategical tr retreat. Okay, he goes there just wide open. <laughs> yep. Queen oh, boy. Uh, is it your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, we don't have to worry about anything, so we'll just do. We'll just do who we'll like rook one. I think rook takes g7 and is just winning on the spot in that case. Well, we'll see. It's your turn next, so you can tr try to demonstrate that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but you need to do both, both the rooks on the default. Oh, the default, yeah, yeah. But we still have threats. Yeah, like pay the money. <laughs> pay the money, yeah, definitely. Okay, this one. Uh, take, take the bishop. All right. I'm assuming mm -hmm. we go this way. Why not? Yeah, why not? Now we go. Your move. Um, queen to g3. All right. See, if we had both the rooks, then rook to d7 would have been winning on this. Killer, board. yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that factor. Uh... Queen to d6. Mm -hmm. Ok. 
Okay, I'll do... No. Ah. I'll do... This one. Uh, queen to e7. Zing! Ah! I said you've done Queen H4 check! Yep. Ah! <laughs> I was playing too much in zone without any brain to be seen. <laughs> uh, there is not good. There is not good as well. Oh boy. Yeah, I said you've done Queen H4. What am I thinking? <laughs> no. Ah. Yikes. He had his first six seconds. Good game. Well played. <laughs> we tried our best, Toby. But the couple with the bishop be five brilliancy and. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so just maneuvers the king. So, yeah, very good game, Toby. It's like a. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think Rook to G7. I mean, taking the. Uh, the book. Yeah, just. Uh, I said it's in the Rook. Like, Lucky Tuba moves. Like, oh, just naturally take the Bishop to 7, but. Yeah, and the Rook to T7, and the squares are too weak. So I can look at that position, so let's see if that's yeah. the real thing. So it's like, if it's really a. Like, oh, you should have done that. Yeah. said. Yeah. So, okay. So over work to seven. Oh, work to seven. Uh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I think this is just lost. Uh. I need this follow up too. Yeah. Oh boy, we just missed. Oh wow, this is nice. Ah. Oh. Not much to do. Yeah, definitely. So I was thinking that in this situation, I'll just do king g two. But they'll be losing with rook c2. But I forgot there's a, this one. <laughs> but yeah, this is nice. Oh, very nice, Toby. So, maybe, Toby, do you want to have a rematch, or do you have to go? So we can switch colors, and you can play with us as white pieces, and we can uh, have a change of pace if you want to play again. But let me know. And I love if Lockitube is still awake. Yeah, I can do one more. Uh, yeah, one more, yeah. So what time is it in, for you in Iceland? Uh, it's uh, almost 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Oh. <laughs> so thank you so much for staying up for this occasion. <laughs> That's fine. The same thing for, uh, for D. Django, all the way from the lovely land Sweden. It's probably late. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. in Sweden, I think. No. Exactly, yeah. So... So, yeah, Toby, if you want to play again, we can uh, have a rematch. But I'll just... Ex oh, oh, hold on. We have a we have a challenge again. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, 9 plus 5. Okay. Yes, very much better. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, this... Okay, this guy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. So, we know what to do. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. D5? Mm-hmm. So, all right. Now I'll do knight f six. Knight uh, f to d seven. Mhm. Mm That'll be basically a transposition to classical French, like this one. Yep. 
Okay, here. Ooh. Bishop to e seven. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> This is why I don't like this bishop b7 line, but it's fine. You know what to do. Yeah, I think c5 is premature that you have to play bishop b7 first, I think. Oh, I see. Okay. So the, uh, we need to just but this deal with this. Also, yeah, I mean, this is okay. I think you can survive this by playing knight to e. Uh, so, the, basically... Uh, Mm, let's go there. Let's see. King of eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a... Not the worst thing in the world. We've seen worse. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... Not the position we want, but... It's fine. Yeah, okay. I'll just stay there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. See no. you. And now. <laughs> it's a couple of moments. I'll ro I'll roll a sur surprise my opponent. <laughs> uh, let's play H five. H5, yeah, perfect. So a lot of people that mistakenly play King of Fade, they play H5 to attack, attack the king side. Yeah, let's just use the line since we... Definitely. Okay. Um, Alright, I'll do aggressive things. Mm -hmm. So if they ever dream to go cast on queen side, there's a rook wing for them. This one. Uh, F6 now. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Nice. It's okay. You sure about that? Yep. <laughs> All right, I'll just believe in you. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe this was not a great idea because of reasons. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. I I see the reasons, but but yeah, but. <clears throat> so maybe that was a slip up by me. <laughs> but it's still a game. Just changed from chess to uh, <laughs> yoga. <laughs> yeah, yoga. <laughs> okay, ah, uh, this yeah, one. That's an issue. Yeah, so we just have to go there. Uh, that's a very bad move. Okay, huh? let's play queen to d6. Yeah, d6. Okay. Like, queen to, like, uh, what say? The queen to d8 would have been better than queen to e8, and we would have had like queen to a5 or something. Oh, maybe, so, maybe, so. maybe. But we have some aggressive thoughts, I think. Yep. Make a mean face and say, Rawr! <laughs> Alrighty. Now we have a very good move. Is it my turn or your turn? It's my turn, so I have to find the good move. Yeah, it's it's a very good move. Excellent move. Okay, so I have to define good. Well, it's winning material, so it's very good. All right, I'm assuming. I, I'm assuming. There's a couple of possibilities. I'll do this one. Is it the right my one? 
Yeah, we might get checkmated. I don't know. What? <laughs> I thought it was move. Yeah, it's it's winning material. <laughs> oh, at the cost of the head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who needs the head? Yeah. yeah. It's overrated. Yeah. I can't wait till your turn it gets back to you. <laughs> <laughs> your turn. Uh, okay. That's... I was not expecting this move, so... So maybe there's hope? Well, for somebody, I'm not sure about... Us? Our, our team. <laughs> <laughs> um, I gotta believe. Maybe... We have a lot of time. Don't don't rush. Yeah. I think maybe you just stroke to B two. Okay. Why not? <laughs> okay. Okay then. <laughs> it's a basic game of you do it. No, you do it with it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I'll okay. pass the baby to you, Q3. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, your turn. So I have to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. No fair. Yep, you have a choice. Yep, I can offer a draw. <laughs> evaluating my options mm -hmm. all three of them <laughs> yeah This is so ugly. <laughs> I think we're winning, actually. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try to pinch. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. That's the biggest bus kills of all the bus kills that we can have. I think we can make something happen. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yep, I actually think we're winning a piece now back. Because of reasons. Yeah. Okay. I came to E7. Yay. And we're back in the game. Yay. Yay. <laughs> that was very good reasons. Yep, I told you. I was yeah. oh, All the final <laughs> plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. This has all been thought through. Oh, uh, yeah, it has to be. <laughs> first two, okay, so D Django says, first two nights is pretty much the only line I know theory of in this song. LOL. But, okay, this one is my move, and I'll yep. take that at night. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a deal, but. Why? Uh, rock. Uh, let's play rock to E8. Yeah. <clears throat> For fun. Yes. It's very fun.
So we need to have a one lucky tuba. We got a miracle. <laughs> I mean, this is easy learning. Easily. Oh, I think this is easy learning. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yeah. We have plenty of time. Don't don't rush. Just breathe in. Like we usually usually learn in the yoga classes. Just breathe. <laughs> So in the mind I'm not to, but it's gotta be winning. But what to do? It's always winning. Just have to find the winner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like a puzzle rust puzzle. Yep. Well, actually, we can just take on F2. Don't see the checkmate. Yeah, that's fine. Take, take all the guys. Yep. Say yay. Woohoo. Yes. It's beneficial for the team. Yep, and in this case, it's our team, so it's. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, double the points. Yeah, very good. Okay, I'll just take this one. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's play rook to b2. Uh, rook A to be two back. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, we're done the pawn, but we are, you know, we have more safe king. Actually, the pawns are equal, so we're not done a pawn. What? We're not done a pawn. No, four, four versus four. So. Oh, I've, oh, the a seven pawn. I, I had a. Okay, honestly, I had a like a. A camera that was blocking my view of the a pawn. So, <laughs> yeah, darn. So it's uh my turn. Um, oh yeah, yeah. You played rook a, we, uh, rook a to b two. Yeah, your turn, yeah. So I'll do this one. Da, 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 da. Right. Let's play knight to b six. Ooh. So fancy. Very fancy. Oh, maybe it's not. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the problem. But maybe it's not. Yeah. To follow through the lucky tuba plan. This one. No. No. <laughs> Make me worried every uh, every time. It's like <laughs> this is my plan. No. <laughs> uh, let's take the rook. Yeah. So basically, the knight is seven is protecting the f six pawn. But I think I was assuming that he wanted to do knight c four. <laughs> Right. Yep. 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 So that's the okay. One. So the the cool thing is the rook's still tied down in d one. Oh. Oh no no. Now oh. Some. It's your yeah. move. Oh, uh, and rook to uh, d two checkmate. Yeah. Yay! We gotta finally a win. <laughs> We're, We're on life support, but with miracles, <laughs> we came back. Yeah, this game is so sort of simple. It's like yeah, playing so, Monopoly, wearing yoga pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can uh, we can uh, just thank the yoga instructor for our win. <laughs> Oops, and I've come back. Yes. So, um, to be honest, uh, D Django, uh, Lucky Tuba has to go. But thank you for the games. This final game was so hilarious and. And uh, we got a final little win, so uh, thank you for the game, and I'll see you Saturday if you want to play the Samuel. Yep, thanks for the game. Alrighty, so, all right, so just wanted to remind everybody in the stream, if you have not yet, you can just leave a like in the stream, and thank you for watching the stream and supporting us, and have a good day. So, bye, Lakituba, and bye, everyone. Hi, hi.